สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, August 8th, and I'm JP m e s t a n z a with news you need to know. Recommendations are coming from the International Surf Life Saving Association, the ISLA, for Phuket to close several beaches because of the dangerous conditions, while an expat teacher saved the life of a seven-year-old boy. The ISLA warned of the high surf, dangerous shore break, severe rip currents, high winds, and more at several beaches, including n a i h a r n Katanoi, Kata, Karon, Surin Beach, Bangtao, Layan, Nayang, and Maikau, saying there are not enough lifeguards for swimmers to be able to enjoy the beaches safely. The recommendation comes just as the Thai Meteorological Department this morning issued its 16th consecutive strong wind wave weather warning, with isolated heavy downpours expected. And they say that small boats should be kept ashore. It all follows an incident on Monday in which a seven-year-old boy was pulled from the water unconscious at n a i h a r n Beach, only for an expat woman. Who teaches at a local Phuket school? She performed CPR with the help of a Thai woman there. The boy's pulse did return and taken to a local hospital. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Police are confirming that not only are five people currently facing criminal charges of negligence for the Serenata and Fatal Phoenix boat sinkings back on July 5, but they've also been denied bail. Phuket Provincial Police Commander Major General Tirapol t i j a r w e n Told made the announcement at a press conference yesterday in front of international media, updating everyone on the Phoenix boat disaster investigation that saw 47 out of 89 people on board lose their lives. The Serenata boat, meanwhile, also sank the same day, but it saw no fatalities. The captains of both boats are being charged, along with assistant manager of the travel company that operate the tours on the Serenata and the managing director of the company that operated tours on the Phoenix. A fifth person, the construction engineer of the Phoenix boat, they're all facing charges. All of them are also in custody and been denied bail. And police say they've questioned over 80 people in their investigation, including government officials, boat crews, and the relatives of the dead tourists. Meanwhile, plans are moving ahead to salvage the Phoenix boat from the bottom of the sea by August 12th. A massive story here in Thailand now. As a doctor, the widow of a slain former Thai Olympic marksman. She won her appeal and was acquitted of his murder, but her mother was sentenced to death for her role in the slaying. Let's start at the beginning, as ex-Thai Olympian j a k r i t p a n i c h p a t i k u m was shot to death in front of a temple in Bangkok back on 2013, and his wife, widely known as m a l Nim, was originally found guilty of the murder back in 2016, sentencing her to death. She appealed, and the case has been ongoing for the past few months. With every bit of evidence and testimony looked over again and again, and the appeal court ruled today that Mo Nim's mother, 75-year-old Suran d u a n g j i n d a who confessed to the murder years ago, was actually the mastermind, hiring the middleman, the lawyer, the hitman, and the getaway driver. The rest of the aforementioned defendants were part of the appeals process as well, and their sentences were upheld. But Mo Nim was set free, and her mother s u d a n g was sentenced to death, commuted to life in prison because of her testimony. She said her motive was simple: her daughter was allegedly beaten frequently by the victim. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Sit tight, Phuket. I shall be right back after this. Patong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's. Who is the best in Thai real estate? Find out at the Dot Property Thailand Awards 2018. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A harrowing story now of eight suspects who will not be named because of quote senior figures asking police not to. Those eight people were busted for buying online sex services from underage boys. Police made the announcement yesterday in Bangkok during a media briefing, saying that the eight suspects include celebrities and university officials, and even a probation officer. And they were arrested, but are now all of them on, out on 300,000 baht bail. 
The eight suspects were identified by seven boys who were rescued, aged between 12 to 16 years old. And the boys themselves were picked up after the mastermind of the whole operation, 27-year-old Nampon Songang, was arrested last week on charges of trafficking underage boys and disseminating child porn. Police say Nampon ran an online group that provided pornography of underage boys to pedophiles for fees ranging between 3 to 500 baht, and he would even arrange meetups between the boys and the suspects for 1500 baht each. He's now behind bars, but the suspects, again, are out on bail. Formerly protected and always precious trees grown on private property here in Thailand, they can now be put up as collateral with banks in the kingdom. The forestry law is set to be amended so that the precious trees, including teak, para rubberwood, Burmese rosewood, and Siamese rosewood, all of them can be put up for collateral as long as they're grown on private land and it's all part of an incentive project to have people grow more precious trees and cut them down for sale, all to create jobs. Still, the amended law is not without its critics, with some saying that it could lead to fraud or abuse of the law and could give rise to poachers on national park land. As of now, the law still needs to be voted on and once it would be passed, the Bank for Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives will be the first to take trees as collateral for loan requests. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, Thursday, stay classy, Phuket. Golf is for everyone, especially at Laguna Golf Phuket. Now, expats and Thai locals can enjoy the world-class course until the end of November with special resident rates. Simply show your Thai ID card, work permit, or retirement visa. Just 1,800 baht daily for a round of 18 holes with caddy and additional 350 to include a golf cart. Or enjoy great four ball with three other friends on Sundays for only 6,000 baht. Optimize your summer by booking now at facebook.com slash Laguna Golf Phuket.